In King City, about an hour south of Monterey, the San Lorenzo Regional Park is not only a great RV park, but also houses a magnificent array of museums. These museums tell the marvelous story of the area and the history of agriculture in general. Knowing this history gives us a deeper perspective on what we see today. It all begins with water and just a few steps from your RV, you can visit the one-of-a-kind History of Irrigation Museum. Right next door is the Tractor Museum, giving you the complete history of this vital tool to today's food supply. There is a historic blacksmith shop, a one-room schoolhouse from the 19th century, and a house from the Spreckles Sugar Era. This spot was once Spreckles Farm number three. The Southern Pacific Railroad extension to King City meant the growth of the area because it brought wheat and flour north to market, and the train station from that era has been moved to San Lorenzo for you to tour. There is even a small meeting room you can use in the station. But the highlight of the museum conglomerate is the main museum, which will surprise you. Professionally well done and maintained, it tells a complete story. From the Native Americans, to Portola, the Spanish explorer who camped just south of King City, to Father Sarah and the establishment of the nearby San Antonio mission, and the land grants of thousands of acres supporting cattle ranching. Horsepower came from horses in those days, and the highway was the old stagecoach road. Then came Charles King, who bought 13,000 acres and began an enormous wheat farm. The Southern Pacific made its way down to bring the wheat and flour back to market. The flour mill was run by J. Ernst Steinbeck, the father of novelist John Steinbeck, who went on to write about the area in books like East of Eden. The City of King. Ultimately, King City grew up and J. Ernst Steinbeck claimed he was the first resident of the town. While wheat dominated it was not the only kind of farming in the early 20th century. There were plenty of dairy farms, fruit and nut orchards, and more. But much of the farmland was quickly replaced by the growth of sugar beets and the establishment of the Spreckle Sugar Company. The museum tells the story of the Italian Swiss family, dairy and cheese. Then came the move into vegetables to make up the salad bowl of the world as the valley is often called. It is not just history, but an explanation of the types of farming and energy used on those farms. You can stay at San Lorenzo RV Park and walk just a few steps over and for no cost, spend your weekend immersing yourself into a fantastic historical story.